It's time to play Family Feud. Give it up for Steve Harvey. Come on, fellas. Come on, let's go, baby. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Well, welcome to Family Feud. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. Got another good one for you today, folks returning for their third day with a total of 20760 bucks From Manor to Walk, Wisconsin, it's the Blevins family. <laughs> and from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, it's the Vildor family. <laughs> Everybody's here trying to win themselves a lot of cash. And hopefully, somebody drive out of here in a brand new head turning Ford Fusion Hybrid. <laughs> Let's play Fusion. Give me Abner. Give me Chris. <laughs> Guys, here we go. Top eight answers on the board. Name something a baby does that would be unacceptable in a roommate. Cry. Cry. Well played. They're gonna play. All right, Chris, we're getting it done. We're winning. We're the champs. Yeah. You've won yourself some money. Five of these, and you know, we'd be talking car business then. It looks good over there. It looks yeah, good. Looks good. Looks good. Now, this is look, this is this is premature. This is premature. If you win a car, what would happen? Uh, we talked about it and we immediately said rock, paper, scissors because we thought that that was the most fair way to do really anything. <laughs> Jody, did you have anything to do with that decision? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think ought to happen? Oh, well, I mean, we got two people from one family on this team, so I mean, it maybe it should be ours. Oh. Oh, Steve, that is true. I am pregnant. We just found <laughs> out. <laughs> we need, a, we need a new safe car for this little baby. Yeah, new yeah. safe car. Uh -huh. when, when, when did you all find about, about this pregnancy? Oh, they had photo evidence, so... That could have been anyone's baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been anyone's baby. <laughs> you got me thinking. Uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh. Sonogram, uh-uh. <laughs> that could have been anybody's baby. <laughs> you can pull that off the internet. Hey, Tyler, give me something that a baby does that would be unacceptable in a roommate. I'm gonna have to say throw up. Throw up. Yeah. Cody, give me something a baby does that would be unacceptable in a roommate. Peeing. Peeing? Peeing, just, Pin. yeah, just peeing. Peeing! <laughs> All right, Jody. Suck their thumb. Suck in your thumb. <laughs> Only one strike, John. Tell me something a baby does be unacceptable in a roommate. Fart. 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 <laughs> Only one strike. Name something a baby does that would be unacceptable in a roommate. Babble. Babbling. <laughs> All right, Todd, we gotta be careful, buddy. We got two strikes. The Vildor family can steal. I'm gonna have to say drool. Drool. Yeah, right. yeah. Drool. Yeah. That was a good answer. All right, All right Vildor family, here's your chance. Name something a baby does that would be unacceptable in a roommate. Doesn't pay rent. Well, this is new. <laughs> oh, the baby doesn't pay hey, rent. So, oh, I got it. I was going. Okay, yes. it still ain't up there. <laughs> uh, baby, baby pay rent. <laughs> I got what you're saying. Number eight. Well, that depends on who my roommate is. Right? <laughs> Knock yourself out. <laughs> Can we switch? <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> in my face. 
Number five. Number four. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's go to question two. Give me her Dean. Give me Tyler. <laughs> Guys, here we go. Top six answers on the board. Name a reason you think men grow beards. To be sexy. Her Dean. To be sexy. I want to say to attract women. To attract women. Women. <laughs> Pass or play? We're gonna play, Steve. We're gonna play. They're gonna play. <laughs> Jameson, how you doing? Good, how are you? What do you do? I'm a professor, author, and a licensed clinical social worker, also known as the Haitian therapist. The Haitian therapist. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, well, let's do it. All right, James, name a reason you think men grow beards. Steve, I'm gonna say to look older. To look older. Oh. <laughs> Renette? Yes, Steve. Hi, how are you? Hi, Steve. How good, are you? Good, what good. What do you do? I am a registered nurse, and in the afternoon, when I'm taking a break from saving lives, I watch Family Feud. Yeah! Yes. Right. Watch and Steve, it. I am also currently in school working on my master's degree to become a nurse practitioner. Yeah! Yeah! This family going to some school, ain't eh? <laughs> All right, let's go, Renette. Name, name a reason you think men grow beards. To hide something. Good answer. <laughs> to hide something. Good yes, yes. Is Lane? You got it. It's Lane. I don't know how I pull that out. <laughs> what do you do for a living, darling? I am a social services manager. I've been a social worker for 15 years. I'm currently studying to be a licensed clinical social worker. Yay! Okay, good. All right, name a reason you think men grow beards. They're locked up in prison. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Evna, yes. name a reason you think men grow beards? Because they're lazy. They don't want to shave it. They're lazy! <laughs> Only one strike. Her dying. They can't shave. Oh, they can't. They, they can't shave. <laughs> All right, Jameson, you gotta be careful now. You got two strikes. The Blevins family can steal. Razor bumps. <laughs> Culturally, that's an outstanding answer. <laughs> because of razor bumps, a lot of African-American Latino men don't shave. That's very true. Now, that ain't up here. <laughs> it might be, Steve, it might be. It ain't up here. <laughs> I, your man is smart, and, it, and it's a great answer. Now, had the question been name a reason, we had 100 black men <laughs> to name a reason you think men grow big. And I'm telling you right now, that's up there and to be number one, because that's one of the reasons. That's it right there. But they didn't ask 100 black dudes. They just asked some people, 100 people in the mall. Let's Ladies go. and gentlemen, razor bumps. <laughs> Name a reason you think men grow beards. Uh, we're from Wisconsin, so we're gonna say to stay warm. <laughs> to stay warm. <laughs> Number six. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Don't go away, folks. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Blevins family, 155. The Vildor family not on the board. Give me Jameson. Give me Cody. Point values are double, guys. Top seven answers on the board. 
Name something people have trouble holding. Jameson. Ice. Ice! Cody. Their bladder. Their bladder. Yeah. You guys want to play? We're going to play, Steve. All right, let's go, Cody. Let's go. Hey, Jody, name something people have trouble holding. Butter. Butter. <laughs> Good hey, John, tell me something people have trouble holding. I'm going to go with the football. Football, dude. A football. <laughs> okay, Chris, name something that people have trouble holding. Their breath. <laughs> holding their breath. <laughs> Tyler, name something that people have trouble holding. Their their tongue. Bite my tongue. Yeah! Hold their tongue. Yeah! Holding their tongue. Cody, two strikes. Again, be careful. Vildor family can steal. A fart. Woo! All right. A fart. Pass it. Break and win. Oh, oh fart. fart. Yeah. Oh, really? oh, I thought he said a fart. I did, too. No. Okay. No, no, no. Trouble holding the fart. <laughs> All right, Vildor family, here's your chance. Name something that people have trouble holding. A sneeze. Number seven. Five. Two. One. Levin's family, two on one. Vildor family not on the board, but hey, steal anybody's game. I just need one answer. Come on now. Let's go. Don't go away. Somebody's going to win it right after this. Welcome back to Family Feud, everybody. The Blevins family, 201. Vildor family, not on the board. Give me Renette. Give me Jody. <laughs> Point value is a triple. Top four answers on the board. Here we go. Name something you'd hate to see an out-of-order sign on. Bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> Pass or play? You gotta play Steve. They're gonna play. <laughs> All right, Islaine, let's go to it. Name something you'd hate to see an out-of-order sign on. ATM machine. ATM machine. <laughs> Evna, yes. name something you'd hate to see an out-of-order sign on. Hmm. Well, eating uh, at a restaurant on the door. <laughs> on the <laughs> restaurant door. <laughs> yeah. All right, Herdeen, yes. only, only one strike. Name something you'd hate to see an out-of-order sign on. A vending machine. Yes. A vending yes. machine. Yes. Jameson, there's only one answer left. If it's there, your family gets to play sudden death. Water fountain. <laughs> Water fountain. <laughs> that was a smart answer. Though. All right, listen to me, Renette. There's one answer left. If it's not there, the Belvins family can steal and win the game. I'm gonna go with at work, the copy machine. At work, the copy machine. <laughs> All right, Levin's family, here's your chance. There's one answer on the board. Chris, name something you'd hate to see an out-of-order sign on. Uh, we're going to go with elevator. <laughs> this is for the win. An elevator. Great family, though. I was proud of y'all. Thank you very much. Appreciate that.
Hey, let's go, fellas. One more time. I got the Blevins boys. I got Chris and I got Tyler. We going for $20,000. Let's get it done. We'll be right back. You ready? Yeah. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name something teenagers do that starts with the letter D. Drugs. Name something you'd collect if you had the money. Pass. Name a fear many people have. Spiders. At what age does a woman qualify as a cougar? 40. Where are you the most ticklish? Belly. Name something you'd collect if you had the money. Cars. Come on. Come on, let's go, buddy. Name something teenagers do that starts with the letter D. You said drugs. Bet that made your mom happy just now. <laughs> Survey said. <laughs> yeah. Name something you'd collect if you had the money. You said cars. Yeah, man. Survey said. <laughs> Name a fear many people have. You said spider. Survey said. Yep. At what age does a woman qualify as a cougar? You said... 40. Survey said... Yeah, man. Where are you the most ticklish? You said... In the belly. Survey said... Now, Tyler... The last time you guys played, it was the direct opposite. You needed 135 points. Okay. This time, he got 135 All right. points. <laughs> you need 65. Perfect. You ready? Yep. All right, let's remind everyone of Chris's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, man, let's go. Ready. Name something teenagers do that starts with the letter D. Drive. Name something you collect if you had the money. Pass. Name a fear many people have. Spiders. The dark. At what age does a woman qualify as a cougar? 35. Where are you the most ticklish? My belly. My, my feet. Name something you collect if you had the money. Um, uh, coins. <laughs> coins. 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 Come on, let's go, buddy. We need 65. Name something teenagers do that starts with the letter D. You said... They drive. At least all of them want to, that's for sure. <laughs> Survey said... Woo! <laughs> Dance and drink tied for the top. Name something you'd collect if you had the money. You said... Coins. Survey said... <laughs> cards. Cards was the number one answer. We need a bunch. Name a fear many people have. You said... The dark. Survey said... Oh. Fear of heights was number one. At what age does a woman qualify as a cougar? You said... 35. I've had several cougars in my life, pal. I'm sorry. <laughs> Man. Survey said... Forty. Forty was the number one answer. We need 39 points. Where are you the most ticklish? You said... The feet. Survey said... Facebook with your friends. I'm Steve Harvey, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Your ass on YouTube. Your whole damn family on YouTube. Your whole damn family gonna be on YouTube. This about to be on YouTube. I'm gonna end up oh on YouTube. Oh my dear gracious. <laughs>